With the calendars turning to March, it's playoff time in college basketball. The Scottsdale Community College men's basketball team is the number one seed in the ACCAC Division II bracket in a league that featured parity throughout the season. The Fighting Artichokes claim the top spot with an 11-9 mark in the conference, one game ahead of Glendale. Our first main goal of the season was to win the um, conference out for D2, so we did that, and um, that's one of our three main goals, and we got the first one done, so the next one is to win the region championship, and then national championship after that. Once we all kind of came together during the summer and made it a lot easier seeing who was going to be on the team, we started to believe ourselves that we could do it this year. We've really come a long way, and the good thing is, is I believe we're peaking at the right time, that we're showing our best hand, we're showing our best you know, abilities right now heading into the playoffs, so we're pretty excited about that. It's been a long road to get here for the Artichokes. They went 2-4 and four to close out the month of January, but they bounced back in February with a 5-2 and two record, including winning the last two games to secure the top spot. We were trying to figure out who we were, uh, so, I mean, I feel like it was just, you know, sticking together in practice. This year, I needed all of our freshmen to really come into starting roles, you know, high impact roles right off the bat. So that was definitely a challenging thing for us. Despite the entire team needing to mesh together at the beginning of the season, Scottsdale's offense ranked second in Division II at 90.8 points per game. The team boasted the best three-point field goal and free throw percentages at 38.3 and 75, respectively. A lot of us have known each other before, like before this season. Um, I, me personally, I've played with pretty much almost everybody on this team before this. Uh, so I feel like our, like our friendship and love for each other is a really big bond, and it really helps us out on the court. Scottsdale claimed the number one seed despite nearly every player on the roster wearing an artichoke uniform for the first time. A credit to the talent on the team, as there were three all conference selections. We were really lucky to get all three of those guys. And, you know, we're so balanced because of having so many weapons on the floor from every single position. Carson Kelly was named to the all ACCAC first team and first team all region. The Chandler product was second in the conference in scoring at 18.6 points per game. He ranked third in assists at 6.3 per contest and was seventh in three-point shooting at 40 and a half percent. I'm the point guard, so I have the ball in my hands most of the time, but I really depend on my coaches and my teammates to get in the right spots for me to make plays for them. And I also trust them that when I get in the right spot, I know they're gonna find me and make a play for me. UU Ture made the all ACCAC second team and joined Kelly as a first team all region selection. He was fourth in the conference in both scoring at 18.3 points per game and three-point shooting at 41.5%. Excelling on both sides of the court, the Phoenix native finished seventh in assists at 4.5 and in steals at 1.7. My team knew where to pass it to me in the right spots. Also, coach trusted me, giving me the green light to do what I do. Uh, that showed he had confidence in me, which gave me more confidence in myself to just go out there and perform. Rounding out the all-conference selections was Tyree Tyler, who received all ACCAC third team honors and was named to the second team all-region. The 6'6 forward from Lancaster, California, was second in the conference in field goal percentage at 66.5% and was fourth in rebounding with an even 10 boards per contest. His stability inside drew high praise from his coach. To be a double-double machine for us, I mean, that's been huge. That I love what Carson and UU can do offensively and defensively, but, you know, our backbone really is Tyree and what he does for us on both ends, you know, especially with his rebounding and, and his finishing skills. Even though the postseason runs through Scottsdale as the Artichokes claim the best record in the conference, they're preparing as tough as ever on the eve of the playoffs. Right now we're 0-0, zero zero, so is everyone, so the regular season doesn't really matter at this point. Our main goal right now is just, it's what it's been all year, focus on us, don't worry about the other team. If we do what we uh, know we can do and are capable of doing, uh, we'll be fine. I feel like as a team, every practice has been getting better and better correcting our mistakes, so we'll be ready. Scottsdale hosts number four Pima Tuesday night at seven in the Division II semifinals. A win there would secure the Artichokes' spot in the championship game at home Friday night at seven with an opportunity to claim the program's first title. Ah!